Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. I managed to lick my wounds a little bit. We are armed and armored, although we're not looking too hot right now. Look like a complete hobo. We'll have to go up and get the rest of our stuff. I don't have a helmet flashlight or any way to light our way, so we'll just have to suck it up here for a little bit. There are zombies pretty much everywhere here. I just kind of parked it in the light here so I could kind of make final preparations, put the armor on, and... I think we're just about ready to roll in there. There were a bunch of loot bags over here, and I think what happened is that um, all of the zombies from that horde, some of them were probably still kind of lingering out here, and they probably died off pretty quickly once we passed, well, once we uh, sustained our injuries, we'll say. <laughs> all right, gotta clear out the riffraff here. Ow. There we go. Luckily, we had some good backup weapons. That was a pretty good call to kind of hang on to this thing. Whoa! Ow! Alright, let's scoop up these loot bags. Not really concerned about what's in them, and we need the first aid already. Ah! Not going well already. Nighttime is dangerous around here. Okay, here we go. Check this loot bag here. Hopefully first aid. Uh, I'll take that pick, though. It's a good one here. I've got an axe. That helps. And food. We'll take that. Extra ammo. Vitamins. Sure really use a steroid. But anyway, it looks like it's pretty clear here. I think we're safe to kind of head inside, start making our way upstairs. Should be all clear all the way up, I would hope. However, I do hear zombies walking around everywhere, basically. Look, they're even breaking their way out. Oh, geez. Oh my god, there's zombies everywhere inside. Why are there so many zombies in there? Ow, crap. Okay, yep. I think... Are we good here? No, we're not good. We got zombies coming around the side and coming out of the building. Oh, jeez, this is bad. Yep, just watch my back here. There we go. All clear. I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it's turning out to be. Here, can I take that and... Is that enough to make a bandage? Can I even make bandages? I can make bandages. Good, good, good. Make me a bandage just in case. Yes, put that down there. Okay, I'm just going to sneak down. It's pitch black, so I'll work my way up and I'll catch up with you guys at the top. All right, we're back at the Banco. I'm still sneaking. I think we should be all set to go into this room here. <laughs> Jeez, what a disaster last time. With all these blackened walls, I really just had no sense of direction. And when I turned around to run away, I <laughs> went right into this room here. And of course, could not get out. Oh crap, where's my loot bag? Oh geez, did it, 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 did it, where, oh, no, it's on the rooftop. What are you, are you kidding me? Well. Damn, I don't know what to do about that. How do I get to the roof? Uh, potentially we gotta head back out here and there must be like a ladder to the rooftop or something. There is one door that I remember seeing that we had not checked yet. So we'll have to run over and see that. It's right over, I think it's in there. Okay, good deal. Officially morning, not that it makes much difference, but at least we can see now. Yeah, so this door here, locked. Oh crap, I can't unlock it. Oh, one of those key boxes back there must have controlled that. I think now I'm confident enough that we have enough bullets. I mean, we have like 225 or something bullets, 27 bullets that we can take these guys out with. So let's just rip into these guys. There should be only three or four cops in here. Oh, you know what I can do too? Here, take this and put that in the inventory and slap it down right here. There we go. We got a makeshift barricade. Eat that. That appears to have worked very well, nice. We did attract some attention from outside though, I think. Yep, here we go. Phew, okay, what is in here now? Aha, ooh, oh, massive vault, main loot as well. Although I can't get into it just yet, we'll have to figure out how to get our stuff back, get some lockpicks and things. Oh, a pair of pants, that's helpful, some money. Oh, we were so close, we were just five feral cops away from getting to the main loot and finishing this place off. Okay, so no buttons in here. I'll check the mail, I guess. Nothing there. So there was a button back... Where was that? It's back over here. Uh, oh yes, one here. Which I don't know what that does. There's one here. Oh, that opened the gun store portion, I think. Yeah, we. I guess we just have to further investigate what we're supposed to do here. Well, it seems to me like this door over here is our best bet at finding a way to the top. Now... I could just go in through this way. I think I'm going to have to. Otherwise, uh, I'd be walking around here all day looking for the right switch. 
Yep, here we go. We got a ladder or a staircase going up at least. All right, that'll do. Let's uh, get ready here. There might be more zombies. Oh, wow. Is this like the executive suite up here or what? Wow, very cool. Okay, no zombies just yet. That looks like it could be a staircase going up, so that might be the rooftop access. Oh, cool. Sculptures. I love these. These are actually really nice. Aha, uh -huh, some books. I'll take the... Oh, there we go. Rooftop access right there. Okay, uh, I would expect a fight here, given everything that we've experienced so far. No? At least birds, maybe? I don't see anything. I'm pleasantly surprised. Here, can I, uh, can I just get this real quick? Oh, boy. <laughs> that feels better. Okay, I'm super encumbered. We gotta sort all this stuff out. All right, I think we're good to go. We can move again. I took some steroids. The sprained leg is cured. We are right as rain right now. All right, now what the hell is going on up here? Okay, we can disassemble these if we need to, although I am like practically encumbered. Uh, my encumbrance is like 99.9% .9 filled up. How do I get up here though? Aha, here we go. Missed this. Staircase going up. See, in vanilla, this is where, or even in any mod really, this is where I would expect to see a boss. Like you'd come around the corner, and there would just be some kind of a super zombie up here that you'd have to fight one-on-one. -on -one. That would be super cool, wouldn't it? It would be nice to have, like, super zombies. Not necessarily like the Behemoth. Like, I've played with the Behemoth before. Like, Kane, the guy that makes uh, Darkness Falls, has a, a Behemoth mod that puts the Behemoth back in the game. And it just, like, it hits hard and has a ton of hit points. But I think that there should be, like, special zombies. Like, there's a zombie that's bulletproof, and there's a zombie that, uh, oh, I don't know has a special attack or something like that, you know what I mean? Something to just make it more than just, you know, bullet sponge. And it looks like this is it! Um, I'm so frustrated with this place, <laughs> but also pleased. I'm just gonna knock this friggin' sign down. Okay, my prediction is that this should do it. Let's see if it works. Yes, sir! Goodbye, Ostrich Shopping Center! Okay, only thing left to do now is to see if I picked up, I thought that I picked up, yeah, oh shit's drops, let's get out of here. Goodbye. Nice. Eat that. Okay, so now we have the problem of having two vehicles out here. Not sure what the cargo capacity on this is, but it's not very much, because look, we're already ha at half capacity. I know one thing, we have to get off that tile there because uh, the heat is going to be really high over there right now. <laughs> well, I think that the buggy will just have to remain here for a little while and we'll try to come up with some kind of a plan to come over here at some point with the van or something and just pick it up and put it in the van and haul it back home. But anyway, we have to get back home and drop all of our stuff off, get organized and fix the kit. We're out of grenades, we're low on bandages and every other friggin' thing. So I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're back and we're all organized. I've crafted up some more pipe bombs. Everything's put away and everything. I got the shotgun turret. I'm gonna grab up some resources now, and I think we'll just head out here to the front. I'll probably grab up some paint and uh, maybe see if I can even make some more. We'll do some touch-ups here. But yeah, we just need to get this thing spruced up a little bit, and I noticed uh, during editing that that thing there is not hooked up. So, yep, just little touch-ups like that, fixing that. And so, we'll get that finished, and we'll see how long that takes. And then I want to do a raid today, and specifically I want to do the art gallery, which is in the next town over. In fact, you could probably almost make it out from here. It's uh, right over there somewhere. So let me get this stuff together and we'll get started. One last shape here, and we are done. I would say that's pretty much it for base construction. 
Right, that was quite an ordeal. What a process getting this friggin' base built. I definitely bit off way more than I should have on this one, but it looks nice and it functions relatively well. <laughs> Room for improvement, we'll say. Well, the night is surprisingly dark tonight and full of zombies, and so I'm just gonna putt around the base, I think, and get some final painting touch-ups done and I try to figure out if I can find a place for this shotgun turret. So anyway, you can get some rest and I will take first watch tonight. We'll pick things up first thing in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's been a busy night just getting things painted up. I've got pretty much everything all set. Of course, I've missed <laughs> small spots here and there, but that's okay. We'll get to that eventually, hopefully, maybe. Need to get some more iron to upgrade these spikes traps and probably need to get some more darts eventually for the dart traps. And uh, I brought some steel with me. Wow, these are almost completely cooked and that would be bad because I think people could just fall down into the electric fence area. Not that they don't do that already anyway, but we'd like to prevent them from getting in there as much as we possibly can. Not much left to do here, but I did just bring some steel with me because things like this need to be upgraded. In fact, like of all the blocks in this whole base, the most important one to get to titanium would probably be that one there and that one there because that's what keeps them, the zombies, pathing up these ladders, but um, I don't have any titanium with me at the moment, just wanted to upgrade these last couple things and I think, whoops, there's a block right there. I think that's probably it though. Okay, so we can put our stuff away at this point and I think we're gonna head over and do the art gallery. That's a pretty cool place. Someone put a lot of time and effort into making some very interesting architectural structures and objects and things like that out of the shapes that are in the shapes menu. So. I want to hit that place up, let's just get everything put away and organized, and we'll hop in the helicopter and I'll see you there. All right, so we're rolling up on the spot here and I've been testing out to see if the C, C space bar, the pitch up, pitch down, no fuel consumption trick that the gyrocopter has. I've been trying to see if that works with the helicopter and so far I think it does. So if you hold C and space bar while you're flying, uh, that should idle down the RPMs. You see the RPM and the gear in the lower corner there and that idles down and you go just as fast But I think you're gonna be using a lot less fuel that way. I think we'll just put it down here There is a helipad on the roof, but damn look at this hand This is just crazy that someone could do this. I don't even know how you do this like How does how do you even do this with uh, with the shapes that we have because these shapes are like not damaged, but they have the appearance of being damaged. But anyway, let's get to this place. I should have, uh, I don't know about plenty of ammo, but I have some ammo. We'll make sure we're locked and loaded. I did make some new crossbow, uh, crossbow bolts, steel crossbow bolts. And otherwise, yep, sure. Looks like we're good to go enough. Uh, oh, some candy. I missed uh, putting some of the candy back in the inventory, so. We'll have to suck that one up and I'll probably just hydrate a little bit so we don't dehydrate while we're here and lose our stamina. All right, without further ado, let's get started on this place. So that reminds me when I just opened that box there, Subquake left me a comment on one of my recent videos saying that he can 100% confirm that when you open a loot container, that is when the loot is generated. So the theory that the loot was generated when you open or when you unlock the container or when you bust the box open, that is busted. I would trust Subquake's word over pretty much anyone else's seeing how he's made such a fantastic mod. He must have a very good understanding of the code and how everything works in the game and construction man, sorry, but I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, saved by the glass. Well, you're not gonna get away that easily. <laughs> right in the taint. Looks like somebody over there is gonna get one as well. Ooh, he took it like a champ though. Well, let's see if you can take this one. Oh, we got zombies spawning in as we're going through. So yeah, move cautiously. 
Yep, again with the arrows through the heads thing. Yeah, this place is going to be a little bit laggy, I can tell, because look at all the glass and the shiny floors and all of, like, the intricate shapes and reflections and things like that. Yeah, that that's kind of... That's the... Whoa, oh, crap. That is what is responsible for the frame rate drops that we see often in Seven Days to Die are windows, for one, and um, lots and lots of shapes. At least, I think. Sledgehammer's up to 37. In fact, I remember having a skill point from earlier when we were uh, doing some digging or something. Let's check on that. Yep, perk points. We've got one. Let's go ahead and take Skull Crusher up one more. we got level four now, so that gives us 20% chance to knock down nearby foes with every strike. Damn, lots of beer, man. Subquake must be like a beer guy. Whoa! Get out of here. Okay, uh, just close that for a second. Who's out here? Ah, there he is. Cornmeal. <laughs> Lucky cornmeal, I guess. We'll eat it. Yeah, I do have the AP rounds. Unfortunately, AP rounds will not go through glass. It only goes through, like, weaker blocks. Like, wood blocks. Uh, oh, we got zombies just standing around here. Back! Whoa! No! Oh, damn it! He snuck his way in. Oh, I got him right in the neck. One-shot kill, too. Ooh, I see a cop right there as well. Yep, see if I can get him. Nice. Okay, I th it looks like we're in, like, the reception area. Whoa! Yep, okay. Woke up a couple of rads here. Rad hazmat boys. Oh, I heard, um, a big boy. Pizza or maybe a cop? It's a, ooh, it's a rad cop! Okay, not gonna fuck around with this guy. Can I shoot you through the wall there? Ah! Who is that? A bear! Where did you come from? What the hell, man? Were you a POI bear or like a street bear? Oh, here we go. Just run, 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 and whoa, he's fast. Oh, come on. Can I get the knockdown, please? There we go. Big mama, eat that out. All right, Mr. James got the bandages back, so he should be healing me up here and there. Couple of cops in there. I think it'd be funny if I got one of them to blow up and kill the other one. Let's try that. There we go. Yep. Let him blow! Haha, <laughs> nice. How do you like that, buddy? Right, I'll take the testosterone off of this guy. Well, I probably should use the sword, I think, right? I only got one there. Don't need that stuff, I don't think. So, where do we go now? This over here was just like an exit, I think. And, oh, what's that say? Art gallery made by Top Minder and Pilly. Thank you for visiting. Well, thank you for making this. It's a pretty cool place. Never been here before, but having seen the hand out front, I'm expecting some really cool stuff. Ah. I remember there was an art gallery in the old compo pack that I did visit one time. I'm not sure if this is the same place. Whoop, dog. It doesn't look like the same place, but maybe it's the same people that made it, or maybe they changed it to what it is now. But yeah, the, uh, the old one was awesome. All right, what do we got going on here? A little bit of a security room. I love the security rooms. Good touch here. Oh, level 75 wall safe. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Well, I've got all kinds of uh, jailbreakers, and of course I didn't bring a single one of them with me, so we'll go with the time charge. There we go. Great heist book as well. 10% more damage to safes and the powered sliding glass door that I've already read. Take that scrap rubber. Oh, we got zombies rolling in here. Hello. Get out of the way, buddy. Oh, look at the stairs. The stairs are even cool here. <laughs> this is awesome. Ooh, what's back here? A little lounge area behind? Okay. Oh, I don't have much choice, buddy. Sorry about this. Hope you understand. <laughs> it's just sticking out of his butt. Oh, ow. Karma. There we go. I'll pluck that arrow back out. <laughs> Wash it off before you put it back on the crossbow. Uh, I see, so this just came in from the courtyard, I think. So, yep. I guess we're going this way? Yep, got zombie in there. Close that. What's in here? Oh, another kitchen arrow! Jeez, ow! Panic swing. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Can I get the group knockdown thing? 20% chance? Oh, no, of course not. Oh, no, I did get it. Nice! Eat! Whoops. <laughs> Whiff. And out of stamina. There we go. Oh, jeez. You walk two feet and you get new zombies everywhere. Couple down there. I guess the silenced pistol's pretty much just as deadly. What's this? What's this box? A box of boxes. 
Must be an Amazon box. Ah! Ah, uh, the coat place, where, like, the, they hang up all your coats, I guess? Uh, hello, Thomas. Good morning, sir. Take that in the knee. Ow, oh, man, sorry about that. How about you? Ha <laughs> ha! One more right on the chin. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, fancy. I like that. So we go this way. I guess it's... I don't know if that's telling you where to go. Do we go over here? Is there an elevator here? Hello. More wall saves. Really wishing I had a jailbreaker with me, but we'll see what these... what level these are. Nope, close that door. They're both too high of a level for me to pick open. So I guess we're just gonna blow them both up. Might as well with the lucky goggles on these. Got a blacksmith forge schematic. We can of course scrap that some titanium or in a good lever action rifle to sell. Okay, there must be a set of stairs here. Of course there is. It's right friggin' there. I think there's this whole wing here though that we didn't quite clear out. And this looks like an off- Ooh, vending machine. Ah, not working though. Yeah, this is probably full of zombies as well, so we'll just carefully pick our way through here. Another wall safe. Can I pick this one open? Of course not. I'm gonna run out of time charges here. Ooh, contact grenades. That is a good, good find. Especially if we start getting pinned like we were in the last raid. I'm gonna check the bookshelves and kind of move on after that. We have a couple of series that we need to max out. Titanium machete, not too bad. Yeah, in fact, uh, let's see, we've only maxed out three, the Night Stalker, Urban Combat, and the Sniper books. Would be really nice to get, uh, like, the mining thing maxed out. 20% chance to one-shot the ore with that, and uh, maybe a couple of others, not really sure. Oh yeah, the Lucky Looter book. Enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. Not that uh, the loot has been particularly uh, scaled very well to our level, even if we get it in the Wasteland, I would say. But, uh, according to Subquake, he did leave a comment on the video where I was kind of... Uh, complaining about that. Uh, not really complaining, but just observing that, um, you know, it wasn't... They weren't very, uh, I don't know, exciting to open anymore because you're, you're not really getting good stuff out of them. So, I think we're up to... Ooh, what do we want to do? Fish or upside-down tank mounted to the wall? <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Let's try this way first. Got a, like, it's like a Mario flower over there, like the, the flame flower that Mario has. What is this guy doing? Freaking dodging my arrow. Ooh, mushrooms. Mushroom wall. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. so what do we got here? We got a tank. Can I get up in that tank? Would it be worth it to get up in the tank? There's a snake in the tank! Ah! Ah, some tribal art. Ah, <laughs> very cool. This is pretty cool too, man. See, it takes a lot of time to come up with some of this stuff right here. And the painting as well to make it look even cooler. And then like the window plane to... I don't know, reflect the light, I guess? Really cool. What are you doing here? Nice. Uh, crime scene <laughs> exhibit, I guess? Oh, hello. Oh, one shot. Eat that. Take him out. Got a cool geometric design here. It's like those things you get at the doctor's office when I was a kid, and you gotta, like, move the things around the wires. What the hell were those things called? I have no idea, but, uh... <laughs> Staple of my childhood, I guess. Man, the toys were just simpler back then, weren't they? Now you get, like, friggin' iPads and crap like that. I never had that stuff when I was a kid. Whoa, hello! Oh, fucking mama. Yikes. Oh, she's, um, she's stunlocked. I guess we're good. Oh, no! <laughs> Here we go. Let her shock out. There we go. Ooh, what's behind the staircase? Uh, ooh. Gun safe. Can I open that one? No, of course not. I think I'm down to five... Five more time charges, not good. Right, the uh, mushroom or like pin, pin wall kind of thing? Not really sure. Uh, cool design there, wow. I wanna build stuff like this for like parts of the base. Like when I did the Darkness Falls base and I did the big kind of skull, I'm not like creative enough to kind of do that on my own though. I have to like copy someone else, so. I don't know, maybe take a screenshot and try to build that later on. Are you a zombie that's an exhibit? Are you, like, stuck in there? <laughs> he is. Oh, lots of zombies here. Okay, time for guns. Nice. Oh, look at his head. Nice. Interesting slide here. Yep, very cool. Ooh. Body bags, gun store box with an iron club. What about the bottom one? Hidden stash, lab equipment box with the first aid kit. Cool. 
Ooh, now I'm suspicious for stuff hiding. Dumb, dumb going that way. Okay, lame. Ooh, this is kind of weird looking. Wow, oh, still, I have no idea how they accomplished this. There's a horde outside. Well, shit, we're just gonna get lag if we leave them there. So we gotta head outside, reload. All right, assholes, come on over here. Wow, they run fast and there's just actually a lot of them. And suddenly there are like cops and ferals in the um, wandering hordes now, which, you know, you get comfortable with not having any of those and now they're like really, really dangerous. And then I turned up the freaking difficulty as well. Hello everyone, kind of come on over here. No, 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 you're not allowed to run away. You come straight over here and die like a good zombie. Okay, you gotta use the sword. The sword is just better, I guess, for these massive fights like this. Let's swing it faster. Okay. <laughs> Still not great though with the fast zombies. Get the guns. Watch out for the cops, spit. Yep, there's a feral right there. Whoa, watch your face. Okay. Whoa. Ah, no, stop that. Boom. Ah. All right, let's get back inside. I think we're heading over to the fish end as well. Whoa, oh, geez, I overshot that one. Gotta slow down here. Out of stamina, not good. Ow, come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm pinned, ow. Okay, eat this. Oh man, this gun's just too good. You need to go easy on the pistol ammo though, cause we are running low. Ooh, that's the main loot. Wow, that didn't take long. I feel like there's like a whole nother level upstairs too. What is this anyway? Whoa, hello, who's here? Ah! Well, well, well. I'm not gonna pass it up. That way we can just get the hell out of here if things get a little bit dicey. Been wearing the uh, lucky goggles all day long. Okay, so we know that we can just blow these up and open them up and then we should not, what the hell's going on here? Should not have any issues in terms of like not benefiting from the eye candy, which I'm not even sure if I brought any with me. Anybody else back here? What is this? Garage box? Yeah, did I bring any eye candy with me or did I just completely forget all the candy? No, I, I did bring some of it. Crippler mod schematic and a bunch of junk it looks like. I will take that sham chowder that we had and just kind of juice up a little bit. All right, well, this is like really trippy inception style, I guess. Might be some loot hidden up around here somewhere or else I'm just kind of content to explore around. And yes, okay, zombies. There is yet another whole level here. Got a, uh, I am not a trap, I am a unicorn. Yeah, I'm suspicious about that. Ooh, look at this. Oh, is this like the steel exhibit room? Cold. Ah, uh, ooh. Wow, that is that is really interesting, actually. Ah, birds! Whoa! Oh man, there's glass everywhere. Whoa, who's that? Brad! The bird's back. Got him. Whoa. There's a door there, which means presumably you can get up there and walk around, but holy cow, look at this. This is pretty cool too. Ooh, it's like super thin. Nice, nice use of the shapes. I like it. Waterfall here, that's super cool. Can I get inside here? Very nice. Oh, yep, can't get out. There we go. Aqua, I see, and sand. Okay, interesting walls here. Surely more zombies around here somewhere. Ah, yes, who's back here? Oh, lots of zombies waking them all up. Let's just run through here. Kind of the, the slow poking through, just kind of take all day here. Wake up everybody, wake up and give me the good gun. Ow, okay, line up for me. That's what AP was built for right here. Oh, with a clutch group knockdown, nice. Take that. Okay, I guess we're, we're back in this end now. Might as well stay here. I wanna check out the unicorn trap. Or not trap, it's definitely a trap. I can see the spikes there. <laughs> I'm gonna fall for the trap, aren't I? I'm suspecting like a trap 
floor. Yeah, that's gonna go all the way down into those spikes there. Yeah, okay, I know what's going on there. Don't need to fall down there and test it out. Ooh, more interesting geometric designs. Love. Another cool one right here, that's nice. I'm feeling like there should be, yeah, there should be a room inside. Ooh, whoa, geez. Very shiny in here. Jeez, my eyes. <laughs> Trying to adjust to normal light conditions over here. Hey, look, it's a frog head. Oh, this in fact goes up even further. This is like a whole house on its side. Is this going to the rooftop? It appears to be. Yes. Hello? Go back to bed. Go away. Yes. What do we got here anyway? Subquake said he's gonna be putting uh, repairable helicopters into the game. Nice munitions box here. So that uh, you could go onto the rooftop like this of a POI and there's a helipad and you could bring a helicopter repair kit with you and just fix it up, put some gas in it and fly it off the rooftop. I think that would be a great addition to the game and it would make getting a helicopter more feasible, I think. Jeez, in a 1v1 situation, the sledgehammer is just second to none. Not very good with the big groups, I don't think, but uh, yeah, going against like rads and stuff, one-on-one, -on -one, toe to toe, really, really nice. What do we got back here? Uh, I see, okay, this is like, um, I don't know, like the backup generator area in the back. Ooh, what is this? Vehicle shock absorbers. Yeah, of course I'll take that, but I don't quite know what that would do for me. Vehicle improves suspension, allowing for transportation of more cargo, but cannot be installed on the bicycle, okay. Well, that's interesting. I think I already have five mods for the vehicles, but, um, or maybe I don't. I'm not sure, we'll have to look into that, I guess. Yeah, because I think I'm splitting the vehicle. Ooh, big garden on that side. Okay, we're heading over there. Okay, so this is the door that goes to the glass area, but I don't see any reason to use this, is there? Other than it's just really cool. Oh, this would be, an elevator shaft, I see. Okay, interesting, very kind of creepy. You get that like prickly sensation in your hands and feet when you're in a situation like this. Hello? Get out of the way, please. Who's out here? Stop spitting. Wow, you're messing up the foliage. None of that. Whoa, kill. Uh-oh, he's gonna blow up. No, he's gonna ruin everything. Damn it. Ah. Yep, there he goes. Oh, this place was so nice before I got here. I've ruined everything. Would you stop it? Hold still. There we go. What did you mess up? Oh, geez. I think that's pretty much it. Are there any more zombies over here in the pond? Or any loot hiding in the pond anywhere, maybe? Loot. What is this? Snakes? Yeah. They should make feral snakes. Ow! Right. I think, uh, I think we're probably good here. Yep. One thing left to check, and that would probably be the rooftop up there. Although I don't know if there's anything up there, but worth a check, I think. Oh, and I, fuck, I fell down. Well, anyways, I'm content to just leave, though. you think that would be where the main loot would be, not, like, right there, but it is what it is. Oh, here's the fish place. I kind of skipped right past this place. Oh, there are more zombies over here. We did kind of miss a spot. I see. Okay, well, uh, what do we got here? Like the robot wing with all the zeros and ones? It, they are robots, in fact. Very cool. Ah, uh, whoa. Somebody made these with the signs. That is sick. Very cool. Very, very interesting. Nice. I just can't believe how much time <laughs> it would take me to make just one of these things and someone's made a whole gallery of them. Okay, yeah, I'm lost. Where am I? Oh yes, okay, this way and then down and out of here. All right, where did I park? Over here, there we are. All right, let's get up in the air and see what else is around here. CVS, yes, we know all about that place. Uh, that place right there is kind of interesting. It's just not very elaborate. Oh, of course we have the spiral library. It's a good place to die. Um, what else we got? We got some vanilla stuff over there. Yes. Against my better judgment, I am going to just land this on the spiral library and see if I can just get a sense of what the hell's going on in there. Because the spiral library was always a bad time in the past and I've heard it's gotten worse with the update to the compo pack. So, I'm gonna just see what this is all about here. See if I can just gently put this down in a way that we can get out of here if we have to. Okay, do I see any zombies? I don't see any. Do I see a way to get down? No, and I'm 
I'm really worried that there's a tr Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. They said that the Spiral Library had increased in difficulty, and I don't think that they were wrong. Those zombies are set to fall down through the floor and um, ruin your life <laughs> down there when you're in there. Uh, but look at the bookshelves. There are a lot of them. I don't think it's nearly worth the risk. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Are, th are they going to wake up? Well, I can... It Presumably, it's going to take them a while to get out. I wish I could just, like, make a hole, though, you know? And then uh, throw the pipe bombs in there and kill them all. But I'm going to try to do that, actually. Yeah. Okay. And then one more up here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it's all, like, just the worst zombies. <laughs> Mutated spiders and feral whites. It's a recipe for a really, really bad time. Let's see. Oh. Okay, 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 let's try this. Perfect. Okay, okay. Just need to make uh, four more. Okay, prediction here is that when I throw the pipe bombs in here, uh, it's going to wake everybody else up and then they're going to fall through because I think these are all trap floors. But uh, if we're lucky, that will not happen and we'll be able to kill all like 90 zombies that are up here. Okay. Good, probably, opportunity for the Atom Junkies. And the Nerdy Glasses back on, please. Also, we're hungry. Okay. Light it up for them. Oh, no, no, no. Jeez. Yes, there we go. I got a few kills there. All right. Well, they seem to be clustering pretty well there. Let's uh, see if we can just blow a few more up. Yes, nice. Just don't fall, just don't fall down. Just don't fall down and we're good. All right, one more for the money. Not there. Not there either, damn it. Wow, nice. Oh jeez, I almost fell down. Yeah, that's all the pipe bombs. I definitely, I do not have the courage to go down there. Do I, do I have the courage to do this? I really don't want to die again. Our vehicles are scattered halfway across the map at this point. I barely have any pistol ammo left, and I only have like three mags left for the UMP. And I would just have to imagine that there's more zombies. Is that a trap floor? That is not. Oh, there's just so many left. We really did not kill that many at all. Okay, okay. With that, yes, I think we need to get out of here. Let's do the wise thing for once in my life and just go home. At least we know what we're getting into for the next time we encounter a spiral library. Gonna take a little quick peek here and see what's in this airdrop. Vegetable stew recipe in a 44 Magnum bundle. There is another airdrop and it's uh, right over here by that roundabout that I didn't fetch during the last episode. So I'm just gonna swing over there and grab it. Yep, there it is. Yep, I... Ah! Yep, give me this very quickly. A beer recipe. I don't really think I need it. Oh, I'll take that though. Because I have like 90 beers back at the place, but yeah, whatever. All right, let's head home. Oh, of course, there's that loot bag there that's going to bother me for the rest of my life. So I guess we got to go down there and get it right on the rim of this friggin' the, the caldera of this crater. Oh, jeez, and the zombie just blew up. You, you guys see that? Oh my god. And another loot bag. All right, bring her in nice and carefully here. Watch out, zombie bear over there. Nice, zombie bear and a dog. I'll take the zombie bear over here, please. Take him out. I want the testosterone extract in case we need it for more upgrades. Ride the bear! Ah! Ah, eat that. Ooh, this one is well guarded here. Oh, yikes. Ow, 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 ow. Is that a dog chasing me as well? Oh, it's a big mama. Ooh, get wrecked. Nice. Ah, and a miss. Here, just grab this and gears and some bullets. Okay, not bothering with that guy. Where did you all come from? No. Get away, Steve. Damn, that base is looking beautiful now, isn't it, man? That really came out great. I really should not have built such a big elaborate base, but I am glad that I did because it just came out so nice. Uh, we probably should look into... Let's just drop it here. Getting some spotlights, right? To shine down here so that we can see... Well... What we should do maybe is get a spotlight and then shine it up on the base and then get some spotlights up there and shine them down on the helipad. That is something I think we can hook up tonight. So let's go one there. 
one there and we'll see if that gives us some illumination on the side of the base here yeah yep let's try that there and then uh how about yeah this uh the scaffolding things right or the or the brackets the brackets could could no that that's terrible there's always like that option it's not the best the alternative is just to like set it back a little bit like that and then use the the proper brackets like you could use the brackets or you could use these supported plank things like that uh looks much more natural like that i think yoink and i suppose while we're at it why not let's just do one more set right up here and yep get got to get rid of this and just slap in another pair right there okay just uh nail these in and we'll just paint them up same color scheme we've been using and that is it we are good to go let's get a view of how it looks not too bad actually i really like that we probably should try to get a garage light as well so that the vehicles are a little bit more illuminated there on the bottom and it, although it would be nice to have some lights that are shining on the side aspects of the base, I don't know that that's entirely necessary. Of course, we do have the Horde Knight connection to these lights out here that shine up in the fighting position. But uh, yeah, I, th I pretty much think that that'll do it. <laughs> that way we don't have to like make new spotlights and things like that. It'll just take more time. But uh, so what I'll, I'll do for tonight is just come up with a plan for tomorrow. I think we are sort of getting to the end of our tenure here in the Order of Steel. Uh, we've done a lot of missions for the Order here. We've built them a brand new shiny base. I think we'll do one last big mission. We'll fight the last horde here, and then we will be honorably discharged from the Order once and for all. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, my name is Temreki, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, and most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see here. I hope this video has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.